so every designer needs to watch this video because we'll be learning how to take accurate measurements from our clients so now the first measurement we are taking is our shoulder measurement from one shoulder to the other shoulder so i you you t after taking that measurement you take from the shoulder to the half length remember the half length of a person the front and the back they are both different so now you take your from your shoulder to your chest line to your bust point to your under bust then to your half length can you see so after taking that measurement the next measurement you take is your round shoulder this round shoulder measurement is mostly taken especially when you want to make um, an off shoulder dress yes this is your round shoulder then you take your bust circumference like so can you see how i'm taking the measurement you don't need to put all your fingers inside inside the tape you take your under bust circumference then you take your waist circumference can you see so after that you take your hip circumference now when taking the hip circumference of your client make sure that your tape can go up and down of the hip area of your client like so at the back when you take the measurement like so make sure your tape can come down and go up this is what will help your client when the, your client is putting on her dress it will fit perfectly at the hip area so now we'll take that's the half length and then the next measurement we will now take is the full length of your gown so if you want to take the full length of an outfit by the sides like so you take the full length of your outfit can you see like so that's how you take the full length of an outfit then the next measurement is the sleeve length and the round sleeve so you measure from the top of the your client's hand to the edge that's the sleeve length you measure the biceps the three quarter and the long sleeve then the round sleeve you the biceps the round sleeves of the biceps the round sleeves of the three quarter and then the round sleeve of your wrist then after that measurement the next measurement you take is the armhole measurement like so can you see this is how to take armhole measurement like this the tape will be around your client's armhole so the next measurement is the nipple to nipple from one nipple to the other nipple and this is the complete measurement of your client so the next measurement we'll be learning is how to take trouser measurement trouser or knicker measurement so first you ask your client where do you wear your trouser and then when they point it out you take your waist measurement right you take the waist measurement of your client when you're done you take your um lap measurement right like so please tell your client to start at attention or the two your two feet will be on the gr ground like so then you take your lap measurement after that you take your knee your round knee measurement round knee circumference after that you take your ankle circumference like so can you see then you take your out seam measurement your out seam measurement or the length of your trouser this is what i call outer seam most times when i'm drafting my trouser or knicker outer seam now inner seam in seam from your tie can you see from your tie down to your ankle where your trouser will stop that's your in seam now this will help you get the crotch to get crotch you just say your in seam minus your at outer seam sorry your outer seam minus your minus your inner seam that will give you your crotch but if you're not comfortable with measuring your client like that you can measure your client's crotch like this tell your client to sit on a hard chair or a hard surface and then you measure from the waist down to the surface of the chair and that will give you your crotch so thank you guys for watching